Hi, I'm Tane from Future Crunch. We hope you join us this Friday, May the 15th, for our Future Brunch, where we discuss finding purpose in the time of pandemic with the amazing Rebecca Tapp, the brains behind the Decoding Purpose podcast. Now, if you've never been to a Future Crunch webinar before, here's a little taste of what we talked about last time with Kayla Colbin around how courage is contagious and vulnerability and taking risks are really important tools in this unprecedented time. We hope you join us soon. Our single most accurate measure of courage is our willingness to lean into vulnerability. Mm. The definition of vulnerability is risk, uncertainty, and emotional exposure. And what are we experiencing worldwide right now, if not risk, uncertainty, and emotional exposure? So it's just tools that are just so, so useful every single day. It's far easier to be brave on the battlefield than it is to be brave in the boardroom. He said, I've known guys who have been on the front lines 20, 30 years who wouldn't hesitate to pick up a weapon against an enemy because that's what they're trained to do, but whose voice would shake just as much as yours or mine if they had to say a difficult truth to someone they respected. So when we talk about courage, this is really what we're talking about is, is that that willingness to lean into vulnerability, to speak your truth, uh, regardless of what the consequences might be, even when it's scary to have the difficult conversation, even when it's scary to not leave things unsaid. That's really what we're talking about when it comes to courage. And so in this context, in the context, I come back to your original question, in the context of the pandemic, what does that mean to be courageous? What was the difference between the people who made it through and the people who did not? And specifically, the people who did not make it through, what did they have in common with each other? And he said, oh, that's easy. The ones who didn't make it through, that was the optimists. The optimists hmm. were the ones who said, oh, we'll be home by Christmas. And then Christmas would come and Christmas would go. And they said, oh, we'll be home by Easter. And Easter would come and Easter would go. And, oh, we'll be home by Thanksgiving. Oh, we'll be home by Christmas. And Christmas would come around again. And he said they would die of a broken heart. He said the ones who made it through were the ones who never confused total faith that they would prevail in the end, which is something you can never afford to lose, with the discipline to confront the most difficult facts of your current reality, however brutal they may be. So this became known as the Stockdale paradox. Brene calls it gritty facts and gritty faith. And when we talk about what is the what are the lessons of, of courageous leadership as they apply to this pandemic, as courageous leaders, our absolute number one job is to be able to combine the discipline to confront the brutal facts of our current reality, which are brutal indeed, with the total faith that we will prevail in the end.